Hello and welcome to my e-lesson. I'm your guru and in this video I'm going to tell you how to make a calendar in Excel for any year. Alright and this calendar can be printed in one single page. Alright and it's very easy to make. So I have already done it for this is January, February. You see, this is all coming through a formula. If I click on January, it doesn't say January over here. It says max. So over here, everything is based on a formula. If you see, everything is a formula. And that's the reason why we have been able to create this calendar with amazing precision and super easiness in just a few minutes. So do you want to learn it? Well, of course. So before going to the tutorial further, you can also go to myelesson.org to download this sheet and practice along and there are other videos also and sheets also which you can watch and download from there. All right. So moving to the actual part where we create a calendar. So I'm going to the sheet where I'll be creating this calendar. So here we are. All right. Now take a blank sheet and over there. What you need to do is uh, start writing S M T W. You know what I'm doing Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. All right. Now, above this, select the cells for these corresponding range and go ahead to home and click on merge and center all right and then the next step is type in is equal to max open the bracket and select the range just below sunday to saturday all right select the complete range for one row like this press enter now it's showing a zero right now, but later on it will turn to January, February, March, whatever it is. All right. And now we will do some formatting so that our task would almost be complete. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a color. Say I'm going to give this a color like this and the text will be white. Over here, I'm going to give it uh, say orange color only. All right. Now I'm going to increase the font size. Let me make it 18 and this I will make 16 and I will now do this as center aligned. All right. I am almost almost done. Now I'll click on the cell. Go to this number formatting option from here. Click on more number formats. Go to custom and here it says general. I'll delete this and type in M M M M. This will automatically display just the month name. See automatically it started showing as January. So I click OK. This will be January. All right. Now this is the area where we will be having our dates. Correct. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just format it center aligned and the font should be 14. This is done. Now one more thing. You just need to know when was the first day of when was the first date of January uh, falling on a specific day. All right. So was it on a Monday or a Tuesday? So you have to go to an actual calendar to see that. <laughs> That's the part that uh, I have not yet been able to figure out how to automatically do that. So January 1st was Tuesday. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to Tuesday and type in 1 slash 1 2019. All right. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this area again where the dates would be there and I'll go to general again, go to number formats and go to custom 
and delete this to make it dd just a d it will just show the date see now we have entered the date what i'll do is is equal to plus one now i'll drag it now i'll on the next week i'll press is equal to select the last entry plus one and now i'll drag it again after this it becomes very very easy sorry i'll have to do this plus one and now it will become really easy because all i have to do is just copy this see after 31st automatically it has started one two so you know what to delete so that's the benefit of using this formatting i'm using m m m m formatting over here and just d formatting over here now my january is ready i'm going to select it copy it and paste it over here all right now for the next month i just need to be very very careful in seeing where the month ended so it ended on a thursday so the february would start on a friday so what i'll do is i'll type is equal to this last date plus one and i'll delete the dates prior to it automatically it has changed see this has also become february isn't this amazing and now i'm going to copy these down like this okay and now again i have to be careful okay where this ended it ended on a thursday again so i'll delete all these and my friday is starting all right and it has to start from where i'll just press f2 and it will show me it is starting from here which is not correct so is equal to this date plus one and now everything is amazing i just need to stretch it further to know how many days are there so i'll so now i know this is 31 i'll remove the other dates and it's automatically march and now i'll go to april so march is ending on a sunday so april would start on a monday so is equal to the last date plus one is equal to this plus one and now you copy it across and april is also ready delete the extra dates and the same way you copy it down all right we copy it down like this select it and we select the complete thing like this copy it paste it now we know april ended on tuesday so on wednesday this should start is equal to this plus one is equal to this plus one and we drag it further and it automatically converts to may delete the extra dates <coughs> and similarly we can make changes in june now so friday june may end it and so june should start on a saturday very good day to start is equal to this plus one delete the extra dates and there you are extend the formula further i usually copy the top line and copy two lines below and delete the extra dates isn't this cool so this way you can make the calendar for the complete year like this you can customize it in terms of formatting whatever you like all right isn't this cool so if you liked it go ahead and click on the like button please do subscribe to the channel so that whenever there's a new video out you'll get to know and youtube would also um, give me some benefit out of it I, I i need that benefit frankly and do share it with your friends i i believe they might also like it so until the next video this is your guru now signing up for the day have a wonderful day ahead
Happy learning!